In today's video, I'll be going for Uncharted 4's Platinum Trophy. This is the second video in a three-part series of me getting every single Uncharted Platinum. So my first goal was to beat the game on Crushing Mode, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. While I did this crushing playthrough, I was sick and did not have a voice, so I'm putting a compilation up of the first 24 trophies that I obtained in my crushing playthrough. After getting those trophies, I took a break from getting trophies until I had my voice back. Alright, so after beating the game on Crushing, I have 24 out of the 56 trophies, 24 out of 25 if you don't want to count the Platinum Trophy. So now I'm going to go get all the chapter specific trophies. Trophies. There's a decent amount. I got some of them, but there's more that I haven't got. I'll throw them up right now. The first one's in chapter four, and I have to hit all the targets in the attic with the toy gun. Here's the toy gun that we are going to use to shoot all the targets in the room. Now, when I played this, I did shoot the targets. I guess I just didn't shoot them all. Yeah, still got it. Hit all targets in the attic with the toy gun. For the trophy Ghost in the Cemetery, I had to get past the entire chapter eight encounter without killing anybody or being seen. All right, so now I got to jump across right here. Now's our time. Never mind. Get caught. Okay, if we can get under here without being caught, we should have got it. But I'm not sure. I did get. I get. I did get seen. Like they. They had the yellow things. Okay. To get through Scotland Cemetery combat encounter without killing or being seen. All right. So the next trivia that I have to go get is in chapter nine, and I have to solve the puzzle in ten moves or less. All right. So this is the puzzle that I'm tasked with doing in less than ten moves. All right. So we're gonna move this right here, this right here, and then move it again. This. I think that was our fifth move, and then. Boom. That had to be less than 10. So, trials and tribulations. Solve the first trial in Scotland in 10 moves or less. For the trophy, not a care in the world, I had to knock over 16 Cairns while in Madagascar. And while I did my crushing playthrough, I knocked over 6 out of the 16, so I only had 10 left to knock over. Now listen, I remember doing this for days gone, man. So I'm pretty much a pro at knocking Cairns down already. I know what I'm doing when it comes to knocking over Cairns, man. Alright, here we have lucky number 10. Boom. Number 14. Mm, now. Is that it right there? I think that is it right here. So the next trophy that I'm going for is called I Can See My House From Here. And I have to climb to the top of the tower in chapter 11 before ringing the bell. That's right. That's our tower right there. We're going to go climb that and get the trophy. All right. So we made it to the part where it wants me to go ring the bell, but I'm actually going to go climb to the top, get to the top of this thing, and I should be able to obtain the trophy. I can see my house from here. There's actually four chapter specific trophies I can get in this one. So I'm going to be doing all four of these. Okay. So for this trophy, I just have to take a picture of Sully. Gotcha. All right, so for this trophy, it's kind of a homage to the E3 conference in 2015 that happened when the, like Nathan Drake glitched and he couldn't move. What I have to do for this trophy is after this cutscene plays, I have to sit still for like 30 seconds, put the controller down and sit still for 30 seconds. So that's what I'm about to do. I think it's really funny how they're just like, you know, making making fun of themselves. You know, something something bad happened and they're making a joke about it. Stage fright. So for the final trophy in chapter 11, I have to destroy 10 vehicles while hanging from this rope. Well, first, I gotta make it to the part where I can do that. I just died. I feel like I already had a lot. Alright, hang tough. There we go. We just got it. Destroy 10 vehicles while being dragged from the rope. After getting the hang tough trophy, I had to go back to college for a few days for finals week. And I ended up leaving my PC, but I did bring my PlayStation with me. So I figured this was a good time to get the multiplayer trophies. I got the trophy for completing the tutorial, completing all trials on moderate difficulty, spawning 10 sidekicks in, reviving 10 allies, and completing 5 multiplayer matches. That's how you win a game. Hard carry for me. Let's go. I went off today. Are you fucking dumb? The next chapter specific trophy is chapter 12, and I have to get three dolphins to follow my boat. So we're going over to this island right here, and you kind of just have to get lucky with dolphins following you. Like, there's no specific way to get them to follow you. Okay, there's a dolphin. Hey. I misread this. I thought it was three at a time. It's just three in total. All right, so for this trophy, it's called Peaceful Resolution, and I cannot kill anybody in chapter 13 and 14. Right now, we're in chapter 13. We're going to make our way through it, go to chapter 14, and the trophy should pop in the beginning of chapter 15 if I did this correctly. If I remember correctly, though, we don't run into people for a good bit in this chapter. Many, many minutes later. This is the first enemy encounter we have in this chapter. I am on Explorer difficulty, so we'll see how difficult it is. It was very hard on crushing. I ended up just having to kill everybody. All 
All right, I think we made it past the first section without killing anybody. Let's go. Here's our first encounter in chapter 14. So I did end up getting caught, but I was able to make it through this encounter without killing anybody still. I got spotted there. Obviously, you saw that. I didn't kill anybody. The trophy says don't kill anybody. And on the second encounter in chapter 14, everything was going well until Sam decided not to even care about his brother anymore. All right, Sam. Let's go, Sam. Come on. Fuck, we're about to get spotted. Oh, no. no, no. Sam, come on. Come on. Sam, come on. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on, Sam. Sam. What? Oh, what? what are you doing? Oh, no. Luckily, after that embarrassing fail, Sam came into his senses and decided to actually help me. That was the final encounter in the chapter, so we continued our journey to the treasury to end the chapter. I mean, when we get into this building right up here, chapter 15 should start, and we should hopefully get the trophy. It's empty. Of course it is. Peaceful resolution. We got it. After being marooned, leave everyone alive until the treasury. So for this trophy, it's called Just Floor It, and I have to get that jeep out of here without killing anybody. Elena can't kill anybody either, so if she does, or if I run anybody over, I have to restart. Elena, ready. Let's boot scoot and buggy out of here. The good thing is, there's a checkpoint here. I hope she didn't kill anybody. Just floor it. Let's go. Okay, so for this trophy, I just could not take any damage when fighting Rafe in the final battle in Chapter 22. This. All of it. Damn, he dead, bro. Sword Master, let's go. Okay. The next trophy that I went for required me to beat the high score set by Elena and Crash Bandicoot. That okay, right? That's gonna be a little bit over. Best score. Beat the best score in the retro video game. Now for this trophy, I have to kill 10 people in 60 seconds with the grenade launcher. Defeat 10 enemies in 60 seconds with the China Lake grenade launcher. All right, so for this trophy, it's called Boom County, and I have to defeat four enemies with the same explosion. So I'm going into the showdown encounter in chapter 20, and I'm going to kill the four guys that drop down. Boom County. Now for this trophy, it required me to do 20 ledge stealth takedowns. And I gotta say, I feel bad for this guy because he was in an infinite loop of death. All right, this should be the final ledge kill that I need. Cliffhanger. Pull 20 enemies over when hanging from a ledge. All right, this is the trophy. I thought I heard something. I'm in chapter eight on the encounter bridge, and I'm just going to be dropping down and doing 30 vertical stealth takedowns. Well, I killed myself. Should be the final one. This one was very time consuming just because I like, get to wait for this dude to walk over. 30. I thought I heard something. Perform 30 vertical stealth takedowns. All right, so for the trophy hitting a brick wall, I have to defeat five armored enemies with melee attacks. So we're going to go into chapter 10 in Avery's tower and take down five armored enemies because this is like the best place to farm it at. All right, so here we go. You see this one right here. We take off his helmet by jumping on him and then we beat him up. Boom. Now we need to do it three more times. Here we go. That's number three. Leave me alone, bro. Sorry about it. Ow, bro. I'm just, okay. Okay, dude. Oh, come on. Don't make me do this to you. Okay. You wanted it? You want it, bro? Oh, okay. Dick kick. I had to kick you in the dick because you're being a dick. Here we go. Number four. Oh, sweet. Perfect. That, that set me up perfectly. Hit in a brick wall. Defeat five armed enemies with melee only. Now for this trophy, I have to get 20 headshots while hanging from the rope. So I just hung from this rope and sprayed and prayed. No warning shots, baby. This is the trophy right here. I know it. Okay, it's not. They, oh, I was one behind. Hangman's bullet. Perform 20 headshots from the rope. I was one ahead. One ahead. Close enough, you know. This trophy is called Leapfrog. I mean, it requires me to kill 10 people alternating from gunplay to melee combat. Okay, I think if I get this guy punching, I should be good. There we go, Leapfrog. Defeat 10 enemies in a row, alternating gunplay and hand-to-hand. -hand. All right, so this trophy is called Run the Table. I have to get a stealth kill, a melee kill, a headshot, and an explosive kill all in that order within 15 seconds. Let's 
Go around the table. When you look at it, it looks kind of bad, but when you do what I just did right there, I think you should be fine. All right, so for this troop, we have to defeat an enemy with a pistol, a machine gun, and then a grenade within 15 seconds. So here we go. We're going to go pistol first. Does this count as a machine gun? I don't know. I'm not really sure. It does. Okay. Now for this trophy, you have to use every single weapon in the game. There are 28 weapons in total. The first 21 you could spawn in via the bonus menu, but the last seven you cannot do that. So you have to find them in your environment. Since I was in chapter 20, I was looking for the little red barrels that you can throw so I could get a kill with it. Oh, here we go. I see it. I found it. Oh, hey, I got it. Use every weapon in the game. I was not expecting to get it there. Now, as you can see, we have three trophies remaining. The big one is to complete the game in under six hours. So I put up a timer and I had to play through the entire game. I was also going for the trophy to complete the game with 70% accuracy or better while doing the speed run. And the third and final trophy I was going for was to kill 100 enemies in a row without dying. I went for all three of these while doing the speed run trophy so I could get them all done in the same playthrough. And while I was in chapter eight, I had the opportunity to get my 100th kill in a row without dying. All right, so I've killed 99 enemies in a row without dying so one more kill and i'll get the trophy boom unstoppable defeat 100 enemies in a row without dying in combat after i got that trophy i kept progressing through the game and i personally felt really good about my time and where i was at at the moment all right so we hit the three hour mark we are towards the end of chapter 11 so we are on pace for six hours timer might be a little wrong but we're on good pace right now even though i felt like i was on a good pace every minute it got closer to six hours i got more and more worried that i wasn't going to be able to complete it in the given time luckily i was able to save some time because my timer was about 20 minutes ahead because of loading times and me pausing sometimes to check my stats all right chapter 18 almost at five hours but if I go into the stats, it says we're only four and a half. So I'm going to change the timer and fix it. Even after saving 20 minutes right there, the doubts in my mind became more prominent than ever. I honestly don't think I'm able to get it in under six hours. Like I only have an hour, pretty much an hour left. There's no way. I'm, I'm kind of worried now. It's going to be close, dude. It's going to be so close. Final hour. I'm nervous. I feel like I was on such a better pace before this. With only about 50 minutes left and me still being on chapter 20, I really did not think I was going to get this. But then I made it to chapter 22 with a half an hour left and then completed the chapter with about 25 minutes left. All right, we got a little update here. We got 24 minutes left and I'm, I am feeling good about this now. I'm feeling good. I was very nervous, very stressed when I hit the five hour mark and I was on chapter 18 still. All right, we're in the epilogue. We have about 20 minutes left. Run. I don't even know this girl's name, to be honest. We finished the game 5 hours 40 seconds. Before we hopefully get this platinum and the other trophies, Lost Legacy will be coming out next. I'm gonna make I'm making these separate videos, but we are doing another giveaway. But this time I'll be doing two winners for $25 each. If you're in the US, I probably would do PlayStation gift card or like Xbox gift card, whatever console you have is fine. If you're not in the US, I can just like PayPal you or Venmo you $25. That's what I had to do to the last person. It's not region based, enter. All you gotta do is put up hashtag triple two x25 i'll throw it up on the screen all you gotta do is put that hashtag at the end of your comment beginning of your comment it doesn't matter as long as it's in there somewhere you will be entered into the giveaway two winners 25 dollars each these these should be end end of the credits we would like to thank each and every individual at sc sony corporate entertainment for their contributions thank you guys for a great game yeah one last time got the platinum Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, have a good one.